Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, it looks like we have different degrees of x and y in both of these equations. I think the easiest way to solve this one would be by substitution. Let's just go ahead and solve for y in the second equation to get y equals 20 over x. And we'll plug that back into the first equation. So the first equation turns into x squared plus 20 over x squared is equal to 41. Let's go ahead and simplify the squared term. 20 squared is 400. And that is not supposed to be an equal sign. Sorry about that. Okay, so plus 400 over x squared, and that's all equal to 41. Let's go ahead and get a common denominator on the left-hand side here. Multiplying x squared by x squared over x squared, I will get x to the fourth over x squared. Um, 400 already has a denominator of x squared, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as is. And both of those now have a common denominator of x squared, so I will write them both over the same denominator. And still equal to 41. Um, I really don't want this denominator of x squared. Um, so what I'm going to do is, since these both share the same denominator, I'm just going to go ahead and cross multiply to get the equation x to the fourth plus 400 is equal to 41 x squared. Let's go ahead and get this all on one side and set it equal to zero, like we do when we solve an equation. And we have the equation x to the fourth minus 41 x squared plus 400 is equal to zero. Now we want to turn this into a quadratic equation, and we can do that by using a u substitution. So let's go ahead and let u equal x to the Oh, I'm sorry, let's let u equal x squared so that this turns into u squared minus 41u plus 400 is equal to 0. Now, if you can factor this, good for you. If you can't, that's okay. Let's go ahead and fall back on the quadratic formula to solve this. So I have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So if you plug this into your calculator, um, when you plug in the plus, you're going to get x equals, oh, I'm sorry, you're going to get u equals 25. If you plug in the minus, you're going to get u equals 16. So let's go ahead and put our equation back in terms of x so that we have x squared equals 25 and x squared equals 16. Taking the square root of both sides here, we get x equals plus or minus 5 and x equals plus or minus 4. So let's go ahead and plug in each of these to solve for y and see what we get. So if I plug in, let's start with negative 4. If I plug in negative 4 for x, I get 20 divided by negative 4, which is negative 5. So I'm going to have the point negative 4, negative 5. If I plug in negative 5 for x, I'm going to get negative 4. So I have the point negative 5, negative 4. If I plug in 4 for x, I will get 20 over 4, so I get 5. So I get the point 4, 5. And of course, if I plug in 5 for x, my last choice, I get 4. So I will have the point 5, 4. You will need to take all of these points and double check them with your first equation. 
Um, you're just going to have to trust that I've done that at this point because I'm kind of running out of time. But these do indeed work out. And um, so these are your final answers for this uh, system of equations. So thanks again for your question, Jacob. And I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMouth in the future.